Hello everyone, this is a very quick tutorial right here. I just forgot to do something in the second tutorial, which was setting up the functionalities. One thing is missing, and that is the Day Cycle Manager, DCM. So what you want to do is go to your content folder, search Day Cycle Manager, drag the Day Cycle Manager in, set its position to all zeros, save, move it into global, move it into UDS, save, and yeah, that's pretty much it. These right here change the day time changing stuff, so the sound it plays in the morning right there, sound it plays when it turns to the afternoon, and sound it plays when it turns to night, you can change those. These are all the different stuff you can edit in this one there's others but this is the one you want if you want the base of stuff if you want to go a bit more advanced you can go to the ones that are currently released which are overheat and there's an aberrant one i know that so if i just go day cycle you'll see aberration and then you'll also find overheat and scorched earth Extinction isn't ready yet as of recording this, but it should be out soon. Also, one thing I just noticed is the water line is too high. So what you want to do here is go to your world settings, search water, and then you want to set the... Where is it? Let's find it. Right here, the water height min. You want to lower it down. So find where that line goes right to the water. So I will try doing that, which is too high. There, now it's at a height where it's gonna fit. Now you'll also notice that this is a thing too, where the water works in, the water post process works in some areas and others it doesn't. The fix is pretty simple. Let's find it right here. Index. You wanna search water height, index and find uh, let's see try that nope that didn't work so search water right index and just try putting the see island water height and it will match up the whole area don't know what that little glitch is about but i think if you just paint over it it will fix it yeah painting over it will fix it i remember i had that issue before or just building each I mean, what is it? HLVs? No. But, yeah. It, you want to build RBTs to fix it, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to check that. And it should fix it. So if I just do that and that, it will fix it. So doing that. Save. And check. No. But I know for a fact that painting will fix it. I'm just going to check that. Changing the images in the ocean, in the water thing, cause an issue or not, and copy that, what you want to do is search water, because it did change it, so go to waterline, get that, go back to the parameters, paste that to there, now somewhere it should be showing, okay there, so now, I change this to go back to the position. Not sure if that solved it, but I'm gonna press play here and just see if it fixes it. You'll know it fixed it if you have the water physics working at the right height of the water for the ocean plane. Continue to mess around with that setting until it works. It should start any moment now, and it has started. It's not yet. It's not proper right now. Try one last time. Oh, wait. Works there. Oh. Okay. I have no idea why that's happening. Hmm.
Okay, I've got it now. So what you want to do is just set it to this. Not that. This. Negative. Let's see. Is that? Yes, it is. Six, negative 66,039. And you want to set this to just T underscore white. You'll copy it over. You'll just take whichever T underscore white. Put that there. Then the water height. You want water height. And then scorched earth. So I'm going to take this white, copy it over into the additional stuff right here. I'll just put it into water. Same with this, put it into water by copying them both over. Trust me, you want to copy, not move. Then save. Drag the white to there. Then the water height to there. And that fixes it. I just had to see what I did in one of my maps to get it right. So now it will work. If not, just mess around with it some more or ask in the comments. But yeah, you see how it's like this? It's going to work. And that's all for this video. In a few days, I should be uploading another video, which is on meshing the landscape. So you'd be adding meshes to the areas that are high slopes like this or this especially here just decorating the map with different landscape pieces that aren't landscapes but just landforms or something whatever you want to call them but yeah in a few days time that should be another tutorial that comes out bye